Wow. I did not expect her to start up this quick. Look how dusty she is. Time to ride this beautiful ape. It's been a minute. going on you guys welcome back to the channel I am finally back on the ape Ooh. okay I forgot this bike pops a lot we are currently meeting up with whatever is left from the ride uh, I'm really bummed that I couldn't make it to this ride earlier to be honest I actually set my alarm and I missed it I slept right through the alarm I'm a little bit bummed about it. I was gonna like Adam either meet this ride kind of throughout on the way or the end spot because they were meeting pretty early and uh, there's a lot of cops and cops are in full enforcement so I was like I'm not gonna go on the full ride with them. So yeah it's been all gloomy and said oh I miss my plaid. I don't know if this is a plaid but it looks just like my car all murdered out. It's been very gloomy and sad so I haven't been wanting to ride it's kind of like depressing this gloomy misty weather it kind of like was missing on the way here so hopefully there's not a lot of the bike that I like to clean because I don't mind like riding in the rain I've ridden in the rain many times with all my bikes as you guys have seen but I really hate cleaning the bike after but yeah so this ride is actually was dedicated to a friend of mine uh, his name is Jake Lewis you guys have probably seen him on the channel we've ridden with him a few times he had a v4 sp1 the first generation sp he was like one of the first ones that i know that got it and he passed away recently and this was kind of like a ride in his memory uh so yeah that was for his memory that's why i was like even if i don't feel like riding and i haven't ridden in a while i have to make it at least uh to part of it and of course I'm dumb and I slept through my alarm because I've been exhausting like exhausting See, exactly I've been exhausted I've been like trying to catch up on sleep for the past like week pretty much and yeah I've just been exhausted and I felt a little bit sick like I'm that I'm getting sick so I was like I really don't want to get sick so I rested you know I've been resting a lot uh, usually I'm like push 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 this time I'm still doing the same I got as soon as I got back from my vacation I'm like push 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 but uh, I avoided like really like writing pretty much and stuff like that you know I just got back and I was doing emails editing and stuff like that because I had extra videos prepared I have extra videos for you guys to post so I've been just working on a lot of videos and sponsorships and stuff like that okay give me a sec because I'm trying to find them oh I think I see them but yeah I guess I get it they came around the beach because Jake loved the beach and yeah man it's hard to see like somebody you know when you've rode with you is such a nice good person uh, not be with us anymore so I just hope that all of you guys are stay safe and be in good health man and if you need it get some help you know the slow bike <laughs> how you doing long time no see man I literally I slept through the what no bro it's mine what's wrong with you what is wrong with you yes you have bro I've had this for like one of the longest you never ride it then I definitely I mean I don't ride a lot of them yeah <laughs> it's a uh, long time to no see, man. Okay, nice meeting, man. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like half asleep. <laughs> How you doing, man? I was actually supposed to ride my M1000 R, and we got a few races with this one, which I might do later on as a second video or something like that. Uh, I am not sure, uh, but yeah, I think that's the plan. Maybe, possibly. So, yeah, this is, I guess, ooh, look at that pipe. 
It's looking very, very blue. <laughs> it's not tuned. It matters a lot. Yeah. Yeah. The good thing about them, when you tune them, you can set like a, you can have them set aggressively or just smooth. Yeah. It doesn't really. This one doesn't really have any modes like that. It just has traction control modes. So that's pretty much it. But still, tuning it like definitely makes a big difference. Yeah, it's it only makes sense if you're racing, really. If you're racing or you're like kind of like really getting on it. I gotta say, like we were cruising. I mean, I rode a lot. It's pretty comfortable. Like it's a big bike. Chilling at like 95, 100 on the rear, just kind of like cruising. Yeah. See, with my bike, I have to chill. I mean, yeah, higher speeds is fine, but like lower speeds is just too jerky. So. This one surprisingly is not bad. I could like do really slow maneuvers. I'm, I mm -hmm. have some really tight U turns with it, even though it's stressed. But oh shit, it's not bad. It took me a little bit to like, okay, lean, lean a little more, a little more, a little more. Okay, now we have it. Yeah, I guess I'll update you guys as soon as we start heading uh, to whatever we're heading next. But this video is actually supposed to be why I don't ride my Aprilia as much. Because I've done a few of these series and you guys do like them. Took her out, huh? Yeah. It's been a while. It's way better after the velocity sacks and tune. It definitely feels nicer up top. Yeah. Ride safe, man. Of course. Uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't realize you had some bikes. Huh? It's okay. It's okay. That's what happens when you've got like, what did you have to get like 8, 10? I know. It has like 1,900 miles, so it's pretty low. I definitely don't ride it as much. Some Like this one on the R1, I barely, barely ride anymore. Which is sad because they're the best sounding bikes let's see if she's gonna start wow started right up you guys don't have to be biased out of all these bikes which one would you take you know the fan favorite the h2 uh the r1m the new on 1000 double r bmw the ape or the ducati the hyper I can barely hear the H2 over the Ape when it's sitting and idling. The H2 is only loud when you're like gunning it, when you're on the throttle. This bike and the Fireblade are always loud. It's interesting with the Fireblade though, it sounds kind of similar to the H2, but it's always loud. Not like the H2, you don't have to like gun it. Now I sure do hear the H2. <laughs> from the ape I literally forgot about the topic I'm so dead right now I guess we'll talk about that a little bit on the way back why well, I don't ride this bike as much but I really need to like every time I don't ride it I don't know what about it but like I don't get as excited until I'm on it you know what I mean like some of these bikes like the H2 or the BMW or the V4 uh, you know, they kind of like, are like, hey, ride me, ride me. But also like a big reason why I don't do that uh, is because I have new bikes. So usually you guys know if I got a new bike, I'm going to be mainly riding that new bike. It's been starting good. Now I'm remembering. Talk about the actual topic of the video. Sorry, I was cheering you guys along. Why do I not ride the RSV4 1100 factory as much as I used to or don't ride it in general because it's probably one of my lowest mileage bikes actually. Yeah, I got the BMW with like less, I think I got this one with like it had 200 miles on it or something like that. So yeah, one of the main reasons I don't ride this bike as I said like before, it just like when I look at it and I'm not like oh you know like it just doesn't get me as excited as some of the other bikes. I think it's mainly because of, uh, I don't know, maybe like the way it looks, the way it rides, it's a very, it's a bike that rides like really, really well. 
and it's very smooth it just I don't feel like it has as much uh, like something that is sticks out besides the sound it's not as unique you know what I mean I feel like I, like, I really enjoy the Fireblade because that bike I feel like it's very different uh, I think it's more rare just like I really enjoy the way that bike rides because it just feels very different like very uh, raw smooth down low but then super powerful up top it sounds very unique I mean this one sounds technically more unique but I'm probably more used to it because you know I've had it for longer Fireblade is a more finished bike. I would say they're about the same level, the Ape and the Fireblade. It's more about preference, but I might be a little bit biased as I said because you know the Fireblade is newer and all. But I don't know, I just like sometimes get a little more excited to ride the Fireblade. Those are the bikes that I can compare the most. They're about, I think the Fireblade is a little bit more expensive, but they're about kind of like the same price range and same power and same all that stuff uh, the R1 is like very very different from these bikes uh, obviously not the H2 uh, the R1 is the only bike that sounds somewhat similar to the Ape though that crossplane is the only exhaust that sounds somewhat similar to the RSV4 now I can talk normally it's really hard when I'm like trying to figure out where I'm going and uh, moto vlog at the same time and ride so this bike and I feel like it rides really good uh, it's kind of like I don't know it doesn't get me as excited as some of the other bikes uh, I feel like part of me wanted to figure out we actually found out a way that I can make this the GP SC GP 22 exhaust I believe is what it's called uh, is an exhaust that like sounds very very unique and different and that exhaust only fits the newer models unless I get the brand new swing arm and then I kind of put that swing arm on this bike and put that exhaust on it. So I feel like that setup might look really crazy. I think this exhaust looks better on this bike specifically because it's a uh, black CRT carbon, which matches the black of this bike. Uh, but the other exhaust is like, it's just new and sounds like no other. So like that would be definitely like insanely fun if you guys probably didn't see uh, my video when I rode the Tuano for the first time. Tuano had that exhaust and I was absolutely in love with it. I didn't even care as much about the bike. It was more about that exhaust. But yeah, as much as I love this bike and I think it's like one of the best sounding and everything. And it's such like would be an amazing track weapon. It just overall it doesn't have as much excitement and hype around it. Which is why like, I feel like I don't ride it as much, you know what I mean? It's fast, it does everything right, it has a cool sound, cool looks. Uh, it kind of does everything right, but nothing really sticks out, you know, as a, oh, this is kind of like a very, very unique feature that is insanely different than all the other bikes. Besides the engine sound, that's the only thing. But like, then you have the R1, which some would argue sounds better than this. I think they're somewhat about the same. I keep going back and forth now that they both have SC exhausts on them. The same exhaust pretty much. Uh, I think they're about the same. The R1 definitely sounds a little more unique with the cross plane than the V4. But I think I like the tone of this bike a little bit better. That being said, I think like both of these bikes are like amazing. But I do think the R1 looks a little better. Uh, the electronics are a little bit better. Uh, is a little more unique you know than this bike it definitely gets me a little more excited to ride it than this one as much as i love this one you know all the carbon the r1m it just looks i don't know i would like it i like it a little bit more than the ape like i've always said if i had to keep uh if i didn't do youtube i would probably have four bikes in my collection that would be the h2 obviously my all-time favorite bike the v4r my favorite bike to ride I'll do the BMW M1000RR because that bike is kind of like this bike but more unique you know it just does everything right it's an amazing bike powerful bike uh, it's a little less raw this is more raw so this is I would say like a bit more fun to ride but the BMW is as a bike I think is a bit cooler you know it's uh, insanely smooth and just 
just an amazing bike all around, you know, it has crazy technology and electronics and it's just a perfect all around bike. Uh, and then last but not least, I would have my R1M. So I think those are the, bike, the four bikes that I would choose. Sadly, like the Fireblade's not making it, this is not making it either. Yeah, those are the bikes. I think they're very unique, very like cool bikes, all of the ones that I chose. Uh, obviously, I still like this one. I love the Fireblade as well. Uh, I like pretty much all of my bikes, but sometimes like some of these bikes don't get me as excited. Like recently, I have been actually very excited to ride the Rush because I haven't ridden it uh, a lot ever since uh, I got the custom exhaust put on. So I've definitely been wanting to ride the Rush more. I just haven't had the chance. As for this bike, as I said, like you know. Uh, I've done the mods to it right away, uh, did the exhaust, did the velocity stack, there's not much for me to do to it and also as I said like it doesn't, when I look at it, it's such a nice clean selfie bike that sometimes I like to like you know take out and rip on. In general I just don't feel like it's as exciting as some of my other bikes and yeah it sucks to say that but like I don't know like the BMW M1000WR I think just looks absolutely beautiful, it's definitely one of my best looking bikes uh, even though I think this bike is a little bit more fun to ride depending on what type of riding I'm doing uh, the M1000WR is a definitely like more unique and just crazier looking uh, I was actually thinking about it for a little bit, I was like I don't know, should I make this bike my track bike? but then at the same time I still like it, it's the first gen of the factories and I still think this generation looks the best so uh, I kind of want to, you know, keep it in the collection because I still love this bike and I wouldn't want to ruin it if I make it my track bike. Yeah, that is pretty much it. I don't want to make this video extra long for you guys. I want to kind of just uh, enjoy my ride back home and, uh, yeah, without vlogging because, you know, when I vlog it kind of like, feels like uh, it's more work and I have to, you know, be more focused on the video rather than enjoying my ride. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little ride on the 8th. I had to bring her out a little bit, you know. Uh, it's been a minute, but please drop a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, right,